everyone welcome back to the next part of this world of wonders um series now i thought today we would have a go at this little guy and uh, just see how far we get really so let's come in closer now we're using stedler design journey pencils i'm not sure how much we need to come in actually just move the book across a little bit get him in the middle want to try and keep him all in shot there we go now what color well I had been thinking blues we haven't got a lot of blues in this sort of area or purples we did do a purpley blue um octopus slash squid earlier but I think if we use some different shades of blue then we can probably make it um look a little bit different so let's crack on now I don't want it too dark I think I'm gonna grab this blue this is the 37 and I'm going to do these little round bits here and how should we do them I think I'll just go around the edge and then fade towards the middle now I hope the light is okay in here it's sunny again so I've had to close the blind I've just got the um, lamp on and uh, I hope it's okay it's always a little tricky to know how it looks even when I'm editing it afterwards, because the paper isn't white, it's sort of cream, makes it a little bit tricky. But it's okay. I hope everyone's having a nice relaxing um, morning or day, whatever time it might be. I always find, I always wake up, if I'm careful with my thoughts, in a nice relaxed state, and I spend a little bit of time trying to, you know, <clears throat> excuse me think about what I want to achieve in that day things like that um, or what I want to achieve what my goals are while it's nice and while I'm feeling nice and chill my body's relaxed usually and uh, my mind because it is so tempting isn't it to wake up and as soon as we're awake I'm not doing anything fancy with this I'm actually going to add another color to it in a minute that as soon as we wake up we can grab our phone and just go and look at the news it, isn't it tempting I try so hard not to do that I'm going to use number three <clears throat> here it is and uh, go around the edge of this one just a little bit just to make it look a bit different to this and there's nothing comes nothing good comes of looking at the news have you noticed you know there's always, it's not happy news. I do um, actually, um, at Christmas, we were lucky to be given a subscription to The Positive News, which is a um, magazine that comes out quarterly in the UK. And um, it concentrates on happy stories. It might be that it's a person who's done something good coming out of adversity so they might have not had a good experience there might be a little bit of negativity but showing that they've come through it and succeeded in something or other so that's rather nice or there's sort of a lot of positive environmental stories this is 31 because i'm gonna do the whole of this top bit now in this I want to make it a little bit darker on the edges so I'm going to sort of layer it up a bit here and then fade it towards the middle. We don't hear of the happy good things, you know, it might tell us how many new um, energy, if more efficient energy generation things, things <laughs> have been built or different things like that you know good things I feel that it's a sadness to me that good news doesn't sell you know and it's such a shame it would be so nice if it did so, but there we go we're going to do this bit as well with this I might go right down to there and then go over that after with another colour But I tend to look at sport a little bit with my tennis that I like and other things. And there will be a mixture of good and bad news depending on who you're supporting, which team, which person, whatever. 
or it might just be interesting to see who's doing well and who's not doing so well. So in sport, there's a bit more of a mix. But if you go into your news, main news, which I don't recommend, you'll find that nearly every story is one that isn't very happy. It's like, that's such a shame, you know. We don't hear about people who are going out there volunteering or helping people or just living life to the full, having fun, enjoying themselves. We don't hear about those. Okay, I'm just picking my next colour carefully. Whoops, I just hit the tripod. I hope it didn't wobble too much. And 339, I'm going to use that along here. And then I'm going to use it for these um, tentacles as well. So along here, I just want to slightly darken. I don't want to do very much, so I'm only going to put quite a light layer. And note that I've made it dark on the edges anyway and lighter in the middle, so I'm going to mimic that with this pencil. Just wanting it to look just a slightly different colour, just because that's how Johanna's drawn it. There we go. I haven't recorded for quite a while. Um, it's been about two days, maybe. I'm going to try and fade towards the tip here. Um, yeah, it's been a bit busy. My son's been wanting me to help him clear out his bedroom. I've been doing that. We're done with that now, almost. We've got a few things that need to go off. We've got some furniture, which we have a sort of charity. I think it's a charity, which sells... Um, second-hand furniture so I'm waiting for them to contact me because I hope they'll be interested in collecting a few chairs and footstools that my son had in his bedroom we sort of popped them up there because um, we used to have them in the space in the dining room where his where the children's desks are now so we had to find somewhere else for them they're quite nice in there but um, he wants the space for his desk which is fair enough <clears throat> Sorry, just adjusting my position. I've got a bit of a niggly back just because of helping him sort out. It's okay. I'm just looking after it by uh, making sure I'm sitting in a good position. Um, so we've got a few things, and a few things that we're selling, which we've got to, uh, and there's another little bag of charity shop bits. And uh, I'm tempted to nip into town this afternoon and drop them off um, after I've done a few videos and because uh, I need some parcel tape and uh, the tape I have is really rubbish <laughs> but uh, we've got a good stationery shop in town which I'm sure will have some good tape but um, I think I got the stuff I've got really cheap and it's old it just doesn't stick which isn't very useful is it anyway we'll see what happens there I might do it tomorrow but um, because it's Sunday tomorrow the shops are shut so uh, there are less shops open, so the chance of getting it are lower. But it's, the only thing is it's quite sunny and warm, so I don't want to go out in the sun. Anyways, I'll have a think about that later. Depends how long this takes me, how many videos I decide to make. Now here we've got a little mistake by Johanna here. Can you see this little arrow here? Now what Johanna, if you're not familiar, um, Johanna explained it to... Um, to us in a video that she did. Now what happened was she went, when she goes through her pictures and checks her books, she looks for errors. Now there's an error here, we can see she's accidentally traced over two lines here, so we're going to colour over it and it won't matter. And so she's pointed a little arrow there to remind herself to um, erase it out when she uh, goes in electronically. So what she does is she hand draws everything in pencil, traces over it in pen, and I think that's where this mistake here happened. Scans it in and then just tidies it up on her computer. And I think that was an indication like this needs tidying up, but I think she forgot. There's, I've seen a couple in World of Flowers as well. So that's interesting. And uh, I think it just proves that she's human. We're not colouring an AI picture. Um, I can spot an AI picture a mile away at the moment. 
I'm hoping I'll be able to continue to do that. Um, they just have a certain style, colour, they're always grayscale. There's always some sort of wispy lines on the edges or things that just aren't quite right. I mean, look here. This isn't quite right. It doesn't line up, but it's not that sort of mistake. Um, it's like this might have some tentacles coming out the top of its head or something, you know, that a human wouldn't do that. You know, just that doesn't, isn't in keeping with the picture. Because although, you know, with imagination, which um, artists have, they can do all sorts of things. I'm going back to the 37, but these, oh, I've missed one, for these circular ones, let's do the one I missed. <laughs> How many of you are going, hey, oi, you missed one. Where's the beginning of it, though? I don't know. It, it doesn't really start anywhere, it doesn't matter, we'll just, we'll start it here. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm saying now. Never mind. But I think there are some good and bad AI out there. I think people who genuinely take copyright free images and they want to make them into pictures that they have tried to colour themselves, that they know work, they've checked all the details, they very carefully um, made sure that it all makes sense, that there's nothing wrong with the picture, you know, that there isn't anything odd about it and they've used Photoshop or whatever and editing software to make it look good and done all that. If they've done that, then there is an element of creativity, there's an element of work, um, and thought that has gone into it but that's the same colour as that isn't it never mind but some people will just use other people's images um, that no no not observe their copyright um, not do anything to manipulate the images once they're done to make them look normal you know I have seen this week I saw a picture that someone coloured and they said it's a really adorable picture and so I coloured it anyway but look and you look at it and there's a person sitting in a chair that's all fine and they've got three hands there's just this odd hand on the arm of the chair it looks quite spooky um, some people were sort of saying it was like the hand from um, is it the Adams family yes but really it did wasn't in fitting with the picture in keeping you know it was very, very odd. And it's like that sort of error really shouldn't happen if you have a little bit of pride and attention to detail, you know. Right, we have done this one. I'm most tempted to go up and do some details at the top because we've got, oops, we've just got this flower and plant. I think we could probably do those. I'm looking at all our colours across here, which I think look rather pretty, even if I do say so myself. But I feel like we need a sort of yellowy colour in here. We've got a little slightly yellowy here, but a much brighter yellow. So I thought I might do, um, we might go for really bright, like a number one. But I think I'll do my darker colour first. I'm thinking maybe around the edge, I'll do our very light green. I'm thinking, do I want the olivey green or the limey green? I'm yawning, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you yawn along with me, I'm very sorry. I'm going to use this one, the 56, just because I like it. I couldn't decide. Now, our stem starts right down here, look. And no, look, it starts right down here. Can you see, I'm going to sharpen that pencil because getting into that little stem, I want it to show. If you use a blunt pencil on a pale colour, you often can't see. And I want it to look like I've actually coloured it in. There we go. I'm not worrying too much about these little leaves with regards to changing the colour. I'm just keeping it all this colour. I'm going to go all the way up and then think about what I'm doing with the rest. There we 
Okay. Yeah, I have just um, indulged in ordering a book. I may have mentioned it already. Um, yes, I think I have. Um, Helen Ellison's new book. The review has probably gone out on the channel already because uh, these video this series is running a long a long time. Um, what I've done is I've given up eating chocolate and used the money to buy the book instead. Um, but unfortunately we're gonna have to dig into our savings soon as our we discovered i had noticed that our bathroom was smelling moldy for quite a long time i couldn't work out what it was and i was trying all sorts of different things we cleaned out the extractor fan we um i sort of did a good sort of deep clean of the shower got all bleached all the grouting because it was a little bit discolored and all that sort of thing and then yesterday i discovered that there was a brown mark on the ceiling below the shower and it's been leaking. So husband opened it up. This is number one. Um, had a look underneath basically and uh, yeah it's not not a good sight. There was so much rotting mouldy wood underneath. The um, All the floorboards under it are gone. Um, we can't work out where it's been leaking. We had a leaky radiator which is just the other side of the wall to the shower. And I'm just blocking this in, as you can see. I am going to add some more colour in a minute. And so we weren't sure whether that had caused it, but I'm pretty sure that I noticed that quite quickly, that leak, and we sorted that out. So I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, it's not good. But we're so very, very fortunate in that we have a second shower in our house, so we don't have to use it. Um, this is 579, so we can, um, hmm, can I put a little bit of darker colour in the bottom of here? Like that. Um, yes, yeah, so we can use a different shower while that one's out of action, um, which is good. But I haven't been able to find anyone... Our normal plumber is going to come and have a look at it next week, but I really need someone to treat all the mould before um, we close it all back up again, or else it will just keep eating and eating into the house. So I'm not sure what to do, but as I say, because we've got another shower, we'd have to rush. The only thing is that because it's our ensuite bathroom, I can smell the mould all night long when I'm in bed, which is really unhealthy. I have um, opened the window in there, obviously. I keep the door shut, so it's a lot better. This is 55, but we're just trying to keep everything very airy. I've decided I want the tops um, coloured in. So yes, we're very lucky that we've got some money put by for emergencies like this, which I know not everyone does, but um, it's not good timing. But you know, these things happen. And as I say, we're lucky we've got another shower so we don't have to like really rush to do it. I was sort of very tempted to just put some mold and mildew remover down in the hole where it's really smelly to try and just kill it all off. But because we might have workmen working in there, I don't know which is worse, the mould spores or the the sort of bleach. <laughs> so I thought it was probably kinder to just leave it. And, uh, and I haven't, fortunately, I do get um, a sort of blocked nose and stuff from um, some allergies and I've always wondered if it's mould. But we can do this flower. Um, I was okay after last night, so I think it's fine. But I am being very careful. I'm going to do some pink. We haven't done any pink. I mean, this is sort of pinkish red, but not a bright pink. So I'm going to get number 61 out and do really bright pink here um, on the petals. Now, they're quite small, but I'm going to go around the edge like that and fade it in. So yeah, if I'm if I start feeling unwell, I'll sleep downstairs. But I kept our vents open in our bedroom, and 
the bathroom window open last night so it seemed okay. Um, I remember actually last time that leaked the smell was bad but it looked, my husband reckoned from having a look that the guy who did the repair last time just left it all and didn't treat anything, just filled it all in and patched it up number six and uh, didn't, you know, I'd left, there was loads of off cuts of wood and bits and pieces in there where he'd um, just left it, which wasn't good. Right, I think that is enough for today. Um, we have done, let's come out because we've done a bit that's not in shop. There we go. So the, um, the jellyfish and the plant and flower. So we've done that today. Um, we have got just this sort of edge to do, which um, is good. We've got sort of grassy bits and fish, so that's going to be fun. So uh, that's me for today, though. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you all have a really, really super day. And happy colouring. <laughs>